Well, good morning. We are calving and we're also moving cows on this um, intensive grazing stuff. So this is probably my favorite thing to do on the farm. What is really improved here, which you'll see in this video, is the ground cover on the stuff that we've intensive grazed. So the stuff that we don't do as good a job on, we've probably got 50% ground cover on some of that grass. This has got to be approaching 90 or so, as you can see in this video. So the diversity of grass has improved a bunch over the years. The amount of grass and just what this stuff does as far as recovering after we get back off of it is just pretty impressive. So it doesn't really get much better than this. There's geese flying over. It actually rained enough to give us a bunch of green grass. Um, we're calving out on grass out here, which admittedly wasn't real great at the first part of May when we had that big storm, but that was sort of an anomaly for the, our experience with this anyway. So anyways, we're thankful for what we have here. We got enough rain to get the grass really cranking. It really shows that this pasture that we've intensive grazed now for like five years, it keeps getting better and better. And so if there was one thing you could do on your farm, if you have livestock to improve something quickly, it's move those animals as much as you possibly can. And maybe that's once every three days or once a week, but compared to when we used to just put them in this pasture for let's say a month or two at a time, we've got rid of pretty much all the cheatgrass the diversity of grass is going up and the percent of ground cover went way up. So I just really enjoy this when it's nice out. There's no mosquitoes yet somehow. And uh, this is really a pretty nice spring. So I'll be going around looking at some crops and we'll kind of show you guys some test plots that we have going. And we'll just uh, try to kind of keep you in the loop on how this regenerative stuff is going. So have a great week.